work on something a little bit different uh, than a lot of us training our normal um, normal day-to-day -day training, which is we're going to work on defending or blocking, but with what I'll call the rear hand. So for in a Kamai, we usually like to think of the front hand as our blocking hand and the back hand is kind of an attacking hand. So we're going to focus today on how we can defend with our back hand and what some of those advantages are. Okay. All right, so let's just kind of warm up a little bit. All right, Shizentai. Let's step forward, Ju Kamai. Come on, tape. Okay, so first we're just going to work on um, just simple shifting kind of back and then back in, back and then back in, all right? So let's do that just with our stance. So from Ju Kamai, push up the front foot, back foot slides back, ready, itch. Now lift up the front foot, push forward, knee. Same thing. Pick up the back foot, slide back, itch. Knee, forward, backward, sump. Gee. All right, one count. Now you're going to go back and forward. This, I don't want a big shift, just a small shift. Ready? Each. Back, forward. Just a nice little shift both ways. Eight. Some. Chi. And All right, five times your own count. No pressure. Ready? Big. Eight. I did six. All right, switch feet. Right side forward. Come on, tip. All right, good. Jukamai. Not standing up, not short. I mean, if this is front stance, it's only like at the most a foot length shorter, not even. Okay? So this is a nice front stance for you. This is even, if I put my finger in my heel and I bring this back, that's even feels a little short to me. Okay? So don't think, well, Jukamai is lazy stance. Uh, the idea is it should be. You know, nice knees bent, just a little bit longer for front stance. Ready? Right side, Jukamai, Kamite. All right, first count. Slightly pick up your back heel, shift backwards. Each. Now, slightly pick up the front foot, and then shift forward. Knee, backward, sump, forward, cheat, goal, row. Okay, one count's gonna be back, then forward. Ready? Each, back, forward. Nice and smooth. Knee. Sump, chi, angle. All right, five more your own count. Ready, hush me. Nice and relaxed, back straight, and your height never changes. Try to stay at the same height. Good, ayame when you're done. I shake it out. Okay, now what we're gonna do is take that simple footwork movement and we're just gonna add um, hand technique. So, Okay, well, right so what we're doing now is again thinking about defending the Jukamai. Thinking about defending, I guess we'll do this a little bit, from with the back hand. So the idea is all we're gonna do first is a downward pressing block. Okay? So she's gonna punch chudan. So she makes reverse punch chudan. Each right, right about here. I'm not gonna stay here and just touch. Remember, this is more insurance. And to kind of check them, get them to um, feel a, a difference, break bounce a little bit and give yourself a cue to go back in. So I'm gonna shift backwards, press, and then shift forward, Kizami. So back to Jukamai. The idea is that she punches each, back in, right? Back in. So the drill is just gonna be back. You can come to your hip or keep here. And then as you shift in, half face Kizami Zuki. Good, relax, okay? So it's that back hand is blocked. You ready? Jukamai, my tape. First count is just shift back, Pressing block. Where do we see this? It's so advanced, we do this in our second kata. Okay. Hand nidan. Right? Pressing block. Press and then here, right? Okay. So same idea, pushing down. Ready? Each. Shift back, pushing. You can keep this here or come to the hip. Second count. Chi. Kazamazu. Good. And relax. Each. Shift back. Press. Knee. Shift in. Ready? Sang. Chi. Again, go, both feet move back. Now next count, make sure both feet move forward. Chi, again, each, knee. All right, you should have it now. Like I said, I don't wanna see this and then just the front foot. Mm. You're kind of vulnerable and stretched, right? What was our drill, we went here and here. Here, here. Because from here you can go again. All one count, lock, punch. And back to Jukamai right away. Itch, lock, punch. Ready? Knee, lock, punch. San, chi, go. Okay, 
That's five. Give me five more. Your own count. A little bit of speed. All right? Just 90%. Ready? Ajame, five times. Yummy, relax. Shoot it up. Okay, so one of the things, the reason why, why for this training, why for these techniques, real quick, Debbie, is think about this. So what we like to do is someone makes yakuzuki again. Block, punch is what we, is very normal for us. Well, that's great. Okay, so she punches. Okay, so now I'm here. The hand that I want to punch with, even if I keep, I keep it here, whatever, is this far away. I've got to turn it. And it kind of looks, see how much work it took me to do that? So what we're getting, what we're training ourselves to do is to say, well, she punches. If I've defended myself, and this is here, so if she punches and holds that position, like now, that's all the distance I have to make, a foot. And I still have, I'm not going to punch it, I still have my body behind it. So all of a sudden, the, the time to get the counter is so short. Instead of like, and she's going to see it coming. I've got to travel all this distance. She can block that on the way in. So that's why, as we're here, it should be quick. She punches. It's just, let her come inside. There's no reason to use this hand because you have this one. We'll do different blocks. So that's kind of the, the psychology is you, this hand's closer to them. Leave it there so it can do something. If this blocks, then the other hand's a little further away. Right side, Jukamai. With it. All right. Nice and relaxed. First count. Shift back. Small shift. Cover. Itch. You can be here or here. Second count. Both feet. Shift in. As soon as you make contact, back to Kamai. Knee. Good. And from here again, shifting back. Each block. Knee. Punch. One more time. Song. Block. Chi. One more. Goal. Block. Rope. All right. One count. Nice and relaxed. Back and forward. Smooth, don't come up and down. Each lock, punch. Ready, knee, lock, punch. Again, some lock, punch. She lock, punch. And go. All right, five times your own count. Add a tiny bit of speed. Five times. Ready, ajume. Yame, when you're done, shake out your arms. Okay, so it's a nice simple shift in and out. Put you done. So the same um, thing can work for Jodan. No reason you can't do the same, but for Jodan, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have us think about a different step and kind of application for it. So it can seem a little more, it's a little stranger too. So if she makes kind of Kazam, Kazamazuki Jodan, Right, there's no reason you can still go here, but this might kind of get in the way. So there might be some reasons why you don't want to just block Jodan with your back hand. But here's one of the reasons why, one of the applications that I think it's good to train your brain that this hand can block. So a lot of times, whether it's tournament or dojo sparring, you may have someone come on, that takes out your front hand, runs in and tries to punch you, right? Wow, I bought one of these. So uh, shift back a tiny bit. So all of a sudden, so now if she does that, and if you've trained your brain to not worry about this hand blocking, and this is your blocking hand, when she makes that movement, so she's going to take out my front hand and punch me in the chin. As she does that, I'm going to step backwards and be here. So step back again. Relaxed. Mentally relaxed. You go punches. No reason. Step back by time, by distance. This hand is here. right? So now what we're going to do, our drill is going to be step back, Urikan, Yakazuki. Step back. Uriken Yakazuki. Those of you who are thinking, realize what that sets you up for. Is if she does the same thing, Uriken Yakazuki. So the, back, the beginning of my back fist strike is actually the block. And then if I'm inside the arm, there's nothing stopping you from going here and then in. So that's what we'll try. Left side forward, Jukamai. With it, you can start a little bit forward, make sure you have room behind you. So stepping back. Back fist strike, load on top of your shoulder. Back fist strike, Yakazuki. Each. And stepping back in. Knee. 
Good. Same thing. Step back. Back fist. Yakazuki. Mid. Back fist. Yakazuki. And back up. If you want to make this block open hand, that's fine. You have to make sure you close it when you strike. Sa. Recover. Shi. Recover. And go. Recover. All right. Five more your own count. I'd encourage you to try some with a closed fist. You got a block at the wrist. Some with an open hand. You're trying. Your target now is kind of your palm. Okay. okay? Five times your own count. A little bit of speed. Ready? Schmip. So now we're going to do right foot forward. Migi, Jukamai, my tip. So now stepping backwards, left hand's going to block. Udaken, Yakuzuki. So from here, slowly, just stepping back. Udaken. Each block in the middle, and then Yakuzuki, knee. And then step forward. Good. Stepping back again, all on count. Udaken, Yakuzuki. Each block, strike. Knee, recover. Send me back again. Song. Block. Strike. Cover. Chi. Go. More. Go. Broke. Okay. Five times your own count. A little bit more speed. Ready? Ajme. Stay low the whole time. Imagine that punch coming into your chin. If you want to drop this hand as you go, but then, oh, that hand's gone, but you can still defend yourself. Hey. Yame when you're done. Hang to shake it out. All right, so third and last drill that we're going to do is now thinking about that back hand defending, but this time a kick. All right, so whenever we make Gedanbarai, we usually think about this hand going up, but we always teach Gedanbarai usually like this position, you know, and even when we do um, what we just did, what it can, it's a little bit higher, but usually our hikite hand, retraction hand is out here, All right? So we're gonna think about this motion for Gedanbarai or what it can, and how the lower hand can be doing something. All right, so from Jukamai, all right, now you're imagining, it can work for front kick, um, you know, to the back side of side thrust kick. But now you're imagining a kick coming in right here. Again, instead of having to take your front hand, block that kick, and then have your other hand a little bit further back, you're going to let that kick kind of come inside your guard. Keep this hand about here. And it's actually your back hand that's just going to open and do a pressing block to the side. Okay? This same, the same uh, shoulders and muscles squeezing every time you make get on by, you come here. Here, right? So it's this across motion that should be somewhat natural for you. All right, so from here, we're again gonna buy time. If someone is aiming for me right here, I don't wanna be here. I see them kicking, I'm both gonna move and block. A little extra insurance. Also, a lot of blocks don't really work if you don't move, so we have to move. All right, so I'm gonna shift back just as we did before. Same time, that back hand is just gonna open, push across. So just to here, ready? Itch, just this position, and then from that position, again, keeping your front arm where it is, shoulders are relaxed, elbows are in, kind of a nice close feeling here, controlled, then from here, of course, one, and then we may as well finish Yakuzuki. Okay. So the second count from here, it's gonna be Kizamazuki, Yakuzuki, knee, and recover. Okay, same idea. First count, shift back, same time as you shift back, Close. Block. If this hand comes across a little bit, eh, it's okay, but don't come too much. You can't punch straight. Okay. This should really be trying to stay aimed at your opponent's chin. Each block. Knee. And recover. Again, ready? Backhand as you shift backwards, blocks. Some. Chi. One more time. Go. 
Rope. Sitch. Hatch. Ku. Ju. Okay, all one count. Five times by my count. Block, punch, punch. Ready? Itch. Again. B. Sump. G. Angle. All right, three times by my count. A little bit of speed and power now, okay? Three times with speed. Ready? H. B. Relax, relax. So, hey, relax. Sure, yummy. Okay, so just to get a little sense to what we're looking at here. So, either side, yeah, you can do that side. So, from here, of course, they've got to watch out for your knee if we're on this side. But the idea is, if I don't move, and she's going to try to kick, right? So that's, I don't want to be there. So she steps back. The idea is I'm buying a little bit of space and time by moving back. Same time, I'm letting her inside this front hand. This isn't moving. Just that back side is going to catch the timing correctly. So she kicks just at the end. I'm not moving too soon, waiting for her to almost hit me because it's, boom, that's all it is. And then as she lands, because this hand is still here, each, they're landing. They're falling into this hand. And then for good measure, we're here. So just step back again. You want to try this side? Sure. I don't know if it's much different. We'll see. All right. So the advantage, if maybe you're seeing here, is that the outside, so as she kicks, there might be a little more of an unbalancing effect. Hey. Can make this harder. Maybe you don't want to punch their, ha their head. It might hurt your hand. So you may have to be smart about your targeting here. Step back. But I'm not going to turn too much. Same principle. She kicks. Just enough to check. Get out of the way. Block. And back in. So the idea is they're falling into that hand. Okay. That's what we're trying for. Right side forward, you come on. That's it. All right, last side. So you're thinking about that. Let them kick, just catch it just enough, just enough, boom, and then catch them on the way in as they land. Okay. Ready? One count. Just block. I want to see that your elbow and shoulder position is not compromised. Each, meaning you can punch comfortably from here using a little bit of hip rotation. B. Cover. Saw shift back, block, she. Oh, rook. Siege. Hutch. I jumped the gun there again. Good. Jump. One count. Back and forward. Ready? Block, punch, punch. Same principles before. You might be able to get away with without moving the back foot. Okay. But try sometimes, or most of the time if you can. Hey. It's coming, it doesn't have to have the heel down. We learned that so much, I'm not gonna, don't have time to go into that. Life will go on if your heel's not touching the ground when you are driving your weight forward. As long as your weight's moving in, you're connecting through your core, it'll still do some damage, okay? Hey. So, both feet back, both feet in, okay? Because the idea is, this is that you're fully spent. You can't really make a next technique. You always, if you're here, there's always a next movement because your legs are ready. Okay. Ready? Each. Walk. Relax. Knee. Song. Nice and relaxed. Get it correct. She. Goal. All right. Three more um, by my count with speed. Ready? Last three. Each. Relax. B. One more. Stop. Hey. Yummy. Yeah. Yeah, Shake it out. All right. That's it. So, thanks for training with us. Almost had a cameo from our little guy there. Um, that's it. Uh, thanks, of course, in the comments. Let us know if you have questions or recommendations for future trainings. We're always taking those. Um, otherwise, thanks a lot for training with us. If you have time, stretch yourself out, warm yourself down, or use this to start a longer training and train something else you need to work. Otherwise, we're finished. Great. All right, thanks again for training with us.